two years ago we, we started this project uh, because the management regime is uh, asking for uh, more information about the marine life of the sea trout. As today we don't really know much about what the sea trout do when it's out in the, in the sea. We don't know uh, where it is during different time of the year. We don't know much about which water depth it prefers. So if you want to do a kind of risk assessment uh, when it comes to uh, where the, we put uh, like where the management regime give access for new um, fish farms, as an example. They don't really know uh, if we should see yes or no when it comes to the, to the sea trout. So uh, this, uh, the information that we are, are, are going to find now is very important for the management regime in order to, to do risk assessment when it comes to sea trout. So here we, we have the acoustic receiver. And uh, when attacked fish, attacked sea trout, is within a range of three, four hundred meters, the number from the fish will be transmitted from the tag inside the fish to the acoustic receiver. So uh, now we are downloading the receiver and uh, all the data will be transferred wireless to our laptop here in, in the boat. So this receiver will be out here both summer and winter and uh, record the fish that are present in the fjord and this will also give us information about the fish that are not present here during uh, different times of the year. Uh, in, uh, in Western Norway and mid-Norway, Central Norway, we have been in decline in about for about 60% of the sea trout populations for the last 20 years. Many people uh, claim that salmon lice is the major cause, and it might be one reason, or for sure, we, we, we are pretty sure that it's one reason. But I also believe that there are other, other causes than just the salmon lice. Uh, it might be there have been a reduction in the, in the prey for the sea trout, especially for a lot of sea trout that prefer smaller fish. Uh, we know that there have been collapse in some of these species. Uh, it might be that the temperature have changed. We know that the, when, when trout migrate from the freshwater to the seawater system, it's because they, they gain uh, we, we can, uh, it's like winning a lottery when we go out here. But if the temperature in general increase, there'll be so much food in the freshwater system that it's really no, they don't win anything by going migrating out here. So maybe they just stop migrating and just stay in the freshwater system. So that's one of the things we want to look into when it comes to the predicted uh, change in our climate. If temperature rises, maybe the sea trout will just stop being sea trout and just stay in the freshwater system as freshwater trout. Sea trout is a very interesting fish because it has this very um, highly viable life patterns. It, it can be pure freshwater resistant or it can migrate out or it can be something in between. And I think that's very fascinating that it really can cope with all these things. Some areas the fish stay in freshwater systems for 10 months a year and only migrate to sea for two months. Other other areas, very close to the first one, it may be a total opposite. So it's a very plastic fish. It can do really many different things, even if it's the same species. I think that's fantastic. Do you like to eat them? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay.